Okay, I'm gonna do uh, some accuracy tests with this is probably one of my probably one of my most accurate pistols. This is the Ruger SR 1911. It's got the uh, Trigicon night sights. I think this is a five inch barrel. This is like I said. Well, this is probably the, the gun I shoot the best until I got the red dot, and that's what I want to do. I want to see. Uh, I got two silhouettes set up and uh see if the, the dots on yeah both guns are definitely unloaded i just got here so uh last time when i was shooting this gun i had some issues when uh, it would come back and it wouldn't go into battery all the way and you'd have to just kind of bump it a little bit like that but i'm pretty sure it was the ammo let's see i got some uh i brought some uh some different 45 this is uh cci blazer brass and i brought some of this to see how it feeds but anyway i'll probably shoot about 50 rounds and i want to shoot some groups with the 1911 and I'm going to shoot some groups with the uh, Walther PDP. I've just recently started shooting a red dot. So I basically want to see uh, how far I've came and see if I can shoot. See, this is only, I think, a three and a half inch barrel. The Walther, and this is a five inch barrel. This is 1911. These are known for being really accurate. Something else I wanted to... Uh, show you guys that I've been doing is uh you know you have the take up on the trigger this is one of the things that's actually helped me the most where I'm uh you know I'm definitely no professional but you have the take up right there then you have a wall you hit a wall and then when you when you're getting ready to make a shot your brain tells you you know bang that to pull the trigger that it's going to go off but you still have take up a little bit of creep right there so what i've done that started helping me is uh if you just go to the wall and then you're like shoot there's a lot of stuff that can happen from that point all the way to where the gun goes off so what i'm trying to do what i've been doing is just don't just go to the wall go back just a little bit further and then when your brain tells you to fire you're right there at it because when you hit the wall, a lot can go wrong as far as you pulling it or jerking it from this point all the way back to where the gun actually goes off. But uh, anyway, I got some silhouettes set up and uh, go ahead and get started. What I did was I loaded five rounds. I got five rounds of nine millimeter and the PDP and I got five rounds of 45 and I'm going to shoot five of each. And shoot groups and I'll show you the silhouettes I set up on this target I actually put 45 I'm gonna shoot all the 45s on this target I got nine millimeter on this one so I'm gonna shoot all the nine millimeter on this one so what I'll probably do is I'll probably start off with the five headshots I'll probably do the 45 first and then do the nine millimeter and do five round headshots and then uh compare the groups all right i got the nine millimeter first and this is the one that sometimes wouldn't go on battery so i'm using i think the uh federal now i'm using the blazer the cci blazer first I'm gonna, uh, cock it. is it going yeah i went in so Anyway, I'm going to do five rounds and uh, see how it goes. Oh, by the way, I'm also shooting from 15 yards. This is probably twice as far as uh, the average seven-yard FBI shot. But uh, I'm going to do them at 15 yards. And uh, I'm going to do the target on the left the uh, with the 45, and then the target on the right with the 9mm.
I'll be right back. I forgot my ears. All right, you only do that once, like I said. We'll continue to go. All right, uh, as you can see, it fed good, no issues. And now I'm gonna try the uh, nine millimeter. All right, same thing, but the target on the right. I pulled that one. I see how it did. Yeah, definitely first shots of the day. I pulled, definitely pulled that first one. But man, it looks like the 45 might be more accurate. There's big holes right there. Good gracious. Yep, got all five. So uh, 15 yards with the 1911. Like I said, I pulled this one. And then I got three, four, five. Well, one, two three four five right there so anyway warming up and it also like i said that trigger on that 1911 is is amazing of course most of you guys know the 1911 triggers are better a whole lot better than the striker fire but i'm gonna do five more shots the way i did and i'm gonna go for the gun right here and i'm gonna shoot the 45 first and then shoot the uh, nine millimeter all right, I got the blazer brass again, and uh, I said my fingers, it's a little chilly out here this morning, so uh, that's why I'm a little sensitive as far as racking. This 45 is kind of stiff. You got to really drive it, but uh, anyway. Went to battery, smooth, smooth as butter. Everything's good. And uh, I'm going to try five shots uh, going for the gun on the silhouette to the left. And then I'll do the same with the uh, the nine millimeter. All right, works perfect. We'll try the nine millimeter. All right, same thing, target on the right. All right, let's go see how I did. I think those were a little more even. I don't know, man. That that uh, that 1911, that 45 was pretty awesome. But uh, okay, got one and get right there in the barrel of the gun. Two, three, four, five. So they're all within like two inches of one another. And then this one, I got three right there, and then four, five. So yeah, definitely a lot more than two inches spread. But like I said, I'm pretty new with the red dot. I've been shooting that uh. 45 for a long time but uh there's your groups with the 45 there's your groups with the nine millimeter and i'm gonna do it one more time with uh center mass and then what i'll probably do is i'll probably uh see see how it does uh shooting the steel from like 30 yards that should definitely show uh which one i shoot the most accurate by going back to 30 yards but anyway i'm gonna do center mass and uh, see how the groups are All right, so far it hadn't had any issues. Uh, 
just smooth as butter. I'm telling you, it was that ammo last time that uh, I had the issues with. So uh, anyway, going uh, five rounds, center mass, and then I'll shoot the nine millimeter. Center mass, target on the right. Yeah, this gun is smooth. Uh, it just takes me a while to get warmed up, but uh, we'll take a look at him, see how I did. It's like I spread them out a little bit more with the 45 this time, but they're all definitely hits. One, two, three, four, five. So right there, and this group's a little tighter. There's two right there, three, four, five. So uh, about there, and the 45. Yeah. I don't know, I still can't determine which one I'm more accurate with, but uh, I love both those guns. Anyway, I'm gonna, uh, Go back 30 yards and uh i got six of the uh, steel plates i'll show you guys about how big they are just to give you a little reference that's my hand so the steel plate's about the size of my hand and uh i think six i'll make sure they all work okay so i'm just gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna load up six rounds on each and move back to 30 yards and see how many hits I can get. Okay, I loaded up eight. And there's six targets, so hopefully I can get them all with eight shots. But, uh... That one go in. Let me see. There it goes. Oh, it hung up just a little bit on me. I said that's the first time it's done it. So, but as long as it don't jam, we'll see. Anyway, about 25, 30 yards, uh, and we'll see how many I can get. I don't know what's going on now. Like I said, I don't carry this gun, so I guess that's a good thing. I got one in the chamber, so uh, we'll see. I know it jammed up one time, but this thing, man, this thing is probably, like I said, my most accurate gun with the five inch barrel. Anyway, I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna try the, uh, the nine millimeter. I missed one with the 1911, so see if I can do as good with the Walther. Nineteen eleven, I shoot a little bit more accurate.
But uh, I might try uh, five more or six more with this gun because I'm gonna try a different ammo. Cause I usually, I can usually do a little bit better not not bragging or anything, but uh, anyway, might try it one more time. Actually, I might load both of them up and try it. So uh, I'm gonna try the federal ammo. Anyway, I'll show you guys what ammo I'm gonna use. Hold on. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand why that 1911 jammed up like that. It's weird. It usually doesn't do that. But uh, I've been using the CCI. I'm going to load it up with uh, eight of these. And I'm going to try the same thing from 30 yards and uh, see how it does. All right. Uh, I got the Federal ammo, the 230 grain ball. And I'm going to seat it good. I actually changed magazines. I don't know if you can tell. They're both Wilson Combat, but this is uh, an older one. Yep, this ammo went into battery, no problems. So uh, let's see how it does from 30 yards. Miss, but I don't know. Let me try it with the nine millimeter. gotten warmed up the red dot definitely definitely shoot better the red dot anyway that's it just wanted to compare those two guns i love both of them but uh like i said this would be a better concealed carry gun by far than that big 1911 anyway appreciate you guys watching y'all have a good day all right last one i'm gonna add this on to the end i'm gonna shoot up here from this little tiny uh about two inch like a heart yeah a heart and uh i'm gonna shoot it with the 1911 this time uh seven yards this is your average fbi distance and uh see how it does That's pretty good, seven yards, but. Okay. Two inches, so. Anyway, love at 1911. I was going to show this real quick. This is 15 yards with 12 shots. This was the 9 millimeter. So I was off target a little bit. But here's the 1911. All those shots right there. Like 15 shots. So anyway, that 1911 is still hard to beat.